Hello and welcome back to Web Nation Africa. My name is Hayford. If you don't know who I am, I'm a content creator, a cinematographer, and today I am your host for today. So today is going to be a very nice conversation between myself and a very good friend of mine who just moved back from Canada to Ghana. And I have a lot of questions for her to be honest. So if you want to enjoy, stay tuned. Allow me to introduce Rochelle. Hi. Now, she's also a YouTuber. Yes. Right, a content creator who moved from yeah, yeah. Canada, Canada to Ghana. Yep. Now, for those of you watching Happy who don't know anything about her, you know, say a little about okay. yourself. Okay. Yes. So I am Canadian. I'm okay. actually Jamaican. Okay. My parents are Jamaican. Wow. Born and raised in Canada. Okay. And recently decided that I didn't want to live in the West. And I wanted a different experience, so I packed up my stuff, mm -hmm. sold my house, and moved to Ghana. You sold your house and just moved to Ghana? Literally, like, in that but, order. Now, this is what makes me, I don't, I don't get it, to be honest with you. I'm a Ghanaian, right? Yeah. And since I was a kid, I wanted to just leave Ghana, just go to America or Canada, and yeah. never come back. I know. Every two, my, I have a few friends who... Who still want to leave yeah. to Canada? So you coming back? Are you seeing something that I'm not seeing? To be fair, it's I funny though. That. You're saying coming back, right? I've never been to Ghana before. before. Okay. So I, I, I it, this is my first time here. Mm. I'd never even been to Africa before. So wow. I decided to move to a place I'd never even been, been to. So how did it all start? You know. When did you start getting the mind, the ideas to go back to Africa or even go to Africa for the first time? Yeah. Without you've never been here. So, a couple of years ago, I just felt like I wanted to have a different experience outside of the West. I wanted to be surrounded by black people. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I considered going to Jamaica, which is where my background is from. My parents are Jamaican. Mm -hmm. But Jamaica, unfortunately, is a little bit rough, yeah. and I have two kids, so I didn't oh. want to live kind of looking over my shoulder. Mm. I wanted a more comfortable, um, you know, non-threatening environment. And then <laughs> that environment, right? Wow. And so at the same time, I was Googling other places, okay. and Year of Return came up. So okay. a lot of people were talking about their experience. People were moving around the year of return. They yes. were documenting their bills, mm -hmm. how much it was to live here. here. So I was able to get an idea of what it'd be like to move to Ghana. Wow. 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 So, so did you come test the waters first no. before moving? No, I never Or you just here. sold your house after yeah. watching the videos? Yeah. Sold your house, yeah. packed, and just yeah. came to Ghana? Pretty much. I don't know. I don't want to. Your friend, your friend. Oh, is, that, is that not crazy, right? Of course. I mean, my parents felt like, um, yeah, they definitely thought it was crazy, right? right. And you've so, been a woman, right? Yeah, not not only that, but I think um, Black right. Americans and Black Canadians, some people still think that like Africa is a desert. So that brings. They still think that Africa has like. The stereotypes, the whole old stereotypical yeah, view of Africa. We live on trees, in mud houses. Right, right, right. Yes. And even if we do, there's nothing wrong with that, right? right? But they just didn't. They just don't connect, um, like proper living with Africa. They don't. Right. They don't think the two coincide, mm -hmm. like modern, you know, lifestyle. But it's I possible. Feel you. I feel you. And now, so how do you convince them? Because it's hard. Well, I don't. I mean. I didn't spend time convincing them, I just did what I did, but I have my videos to show that you Ghana, know, is, amazing. Ghana is amazing and they watch the videos so they're seeing firsthand my experience so you know 
I love the videos of the talking. I like that. So how long have you been in Ghana so far? So it's been a year and maybe two or three months now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So what are you doing on the continent so far to help maybe uh, into business? I know you are into business. You know, she, let me tell you guys, she's doing something great here, which I love. If you don't know, I really like my food. And she is into burgers now. I'm doing a burger and stand. Crazy yeah. Burger is, and Crazy Burger is the name of her brand. And I want to ask you, why Crazy Burgers? Well, um, when I first started YouTubing, yeah. I called myself Crazy Light Skin Girl. Okay. So people would refer to me as Crazy Light Skin Girl if they didn't know my name. Oh. So I am a little bit, um, you know. Do we have crazy. to say it? I'm a little bit fun. She's not crazy. I'm She's adventurous. Very sweet. A so sweet. I knew I wanted my burgers to have a different same like yeah, just like something different. So the the combinations that we've come up with for the burgers are definitely a little bit crazy. Yeah. And and I've tried her burgers and it's amazing. You know, I was saying earlier on that I was very picky. People don't believe me but I, I am picky. And I actually tried it and it was really nice. Yeah. And you know, how did it all come about? How how do you get an idea to go into burgers? You are in Ghana, right? Yeah. The local food is fufu, bangku, Yeah, but that's exactly like that, why right? this is perfect. Right. Everywhere is kelly everywhere is jollof rice, yeah. everywhere is bangku, mm -hmm. fufu. It's um, a no-brainer mm -hmm. that people are always looking for something different. So you bring them different. So is this a Canadian kind of taste or like American kind? I guess, I guess American Canadian, yeah. So you knew how to do this in Canada, you learned it when you did that. Well, it's not a crazy science. Burgers are pretty simple. And although they're simple, people mess them up. So they're very simple to make. And I think you just have to be able to recognize what makes a good burger, what doesn't make a good burger. I'm not a chef, but I've had burgers before, so I know what I like. And you know, you take from what already exists, right? You take from Burger King, McDonald's, you think about the flavors and then you kind of do your own spin on it. But you know? So, so you are creative with it. Yeah. And I tried you had some with uh, mac and cheese. And right. Jerk chicken great. macaroni Jerk, cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. I tried it. It's amazing. So where is this business located for those who are watching? So it's in East Lagon. If you even Google um, Google Maps Crazy Burger, you'll find it. Now let's just get into the juicy part, okay? We are, we are stepping up a little bit. Juicy? Yeah. Into uh. <laughs> okay, let's go to this. Tell me three best things you like about Ghana since you've been here so long. Um, I love the weather. The weather? I guess that's okay. obvious. But I love the people. The Two. people are very calm, right? Um, very, very friendly, nice people. Okay. So that's good. And even saying that like safety wise yeah. it is safe i think it's very 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 safe you feel more safe in canada back in the west um, <laughs> i would say equally equally you know but yeah you, you've never know. felt like your life your no, life is I never felt uncomfortable even if i go out at night or take an uber by myself I, i'm not extra vigilant i mm -hmm. don't really care wow so ghana is safe yeah i think so okay, wow. so ghana is safe um what's the third thing I like the um, the opportunity for growth here. There's a lot of untapped businesses and things that you know people don't really tap into. So there's room for someone like me to kind of you know, Come plan, in. yeah. Plan that that brings me to my, my my next question. Give the people watching three best business ideas that you've 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 checked here. You've done your visibility checks. You came you came here. You checked them. Mm -hmm. You know what would work and what wouldn't. Give yeah. three best ideas you've seen so far. Just a gift to the people watching, the entrepreneurs who would like to visit and do some business in the continent. Three best business ideas. I definitely think there's room for um, enter not entertainment. There's lots of clubs here, okay. but I think there's not enough family activities. Or we have like in the states and in Canada recreational centers. Okay. You can play basketball, oh. you can swim, you can do tennis. It's like a resource for 
activities. Here, there's no one place. Like, you know, everything is very separated. Okay. Right? So it'd be cool to have one place to do your swimming lessons, do your track and field, do your gym, you know, take your kids to leave them at a hangout spot. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So there's that. Food is obviously a big one. There's tons of things that, or tons of food ideas that I think there's room for here. Just like the burgers, you know? So there's that. And um, what else? Um, I would say um, fashion. Fashion? Because, Mail. no, this is the thing. There's lots of seamstress. In Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah. But there's very rare people who know how to work with stretchy fabric. You wouldn't know because you don't. I have no think idea what that. you're talking about. But as a I woman, yeah. as a woman, I I like to bring my stretchy fabrics, but no one knows how to use no, so stretchy fabric. They only know how to use like the hard. The hard ones. What's that thing called? Um, kente. Kente, I yeah. think. Yes. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any give or stretch. Oh yeah. But they don't know how to work. So if you came as a designer and you're working with stretchy fabrics, tons of tons of room for for for. Um, there. Well, now thank you so much for giving this ideas for free. Okay, take it very seriously because she's here and doing great for herself. Now you were telling me about opening a new spot. Yeah, Business so is booming, we have huh? a second location. We've only been open a month and a half, okay. and the workers have absolutely taken off. Wow. So we have another location coming in maybe a week or two. Wow. It's gonna be at the uh, club Oasis or club Onyx. Oasis. Okay. I think it's called Onyx or Oasis. Um, Maybe Oasis. Deep Oasis. Black Club. Oasis. Yeah, Oasis. Wow. So she's she's doing great on the continent. She decided to move back regardless of what she heard about Africa. And she's here and making great for herself. Her business that she invested is booming so far and everything is just going crazy like crazy burgers. So you know what I'm saying? Visit the continent, don't be too scared. Make your visibility checks and just move back, you know. Where to be? Africa is a place to be. Definitely. Africa is the future, what do you think? I believe so, yeah, definitely. It's the it's the present. And the future. It's the future and the present. So what makes you think is the present? Because someone asked me this question. What does Ghana have to offer that Canada doesn't have? That As I would said, be kind of opportunity, right? So I mean you can take advantage of the opportunities to get in certain markets at a low price low rate you know what i mean if you have the expenditure if you have the money to invest in some things it's easier for you but as i said you said that ghana is the future but i'm saying ghana is the present they're nice now because in the future there won't be room it's for your business late. it's going to be too late everything's oh. going to be triple the price like Accra is almost done mm -hmm. like Accra mm -hmm. is done yeah you can't even buy land, land in yeah you got to go way out so but you got to do it now before Wow, or, so she's, yeah. you're literally telling them to, to pack their bags now, buy the flights and sure. move back. If they can wow. do it, if you work from home or you mm. have your own business or you have a business mind, you can make it work. Wow. Wow. Okay. Visit. Come to Africa, okay? At Come to visit? Ghana. Yeah. Um, I was asking earlier on, why Ghana? Because there are 55 countries. Yeah. You said Jamaica was similar, but I don't think that is all. Why Ghana? There should be something that really stood out, you know, to you. Example, business-wise, there are countries that you could have ventured into, which is safe as yeah. Ghana. But why Ghana? What's that really special about Ghana well, that really pushed you? To be honest, I didn't know anything about anywhere, mm -hmm. so I was just going based on what I saw and mm -hmm. from the year of return and what people what explained. Saw. That's where I got the whole idea that it's safe, it's affordable. Uh, people broke down their living lifestyles here, but I'm not sure if like content on let's say uh, Rwanda or Tanzania or or Cote d'Ivoire a, a lot of these other African countries. I don't know. I haven't seen the detailed You know what I mean? Um, breakdown of the lifestyle or what it's like to live there So Ghana just had the most information at the time for me to use wow. right and um, at the time, I knew Jamaican people, I knew Trinidadian people, I knew Nigerian people, and I knew Ghanaian people. So out of the friends that I had, I had some Ghanaian friends. So I just said, okay, let me Google Ghana. Okay, so did you know anyone in Ghana before moving? No, I did not know anyone. You didn't know anyone here in Ghana? No, no, no. 
You didn't know anyone in here in Ghana. You one day just packed your bags, sold your house, yeah. and you just moved. Yeah. Wow. Now, let me ask you. Does it worth it? Everything, everything that you've decided, you've decided sure. to do so far. It's definitely worth it. I'm very happy I came. Um, I have no desire to go back to the West or go back to Canada. Oh. I'm good here. Like, if I have to go there, I have to just visit somebody, family, like maybe family, family or go to a funeral. Yeah. But um, I'm you not. You wouldn't go it. back? No, I don't see the desire. I don't really. Feel like I, I, I wish. To. I wish my friend Jeffrey is here. <laughs> he wants to go to Canada. <laughs> oh wow. Well, you know what? People always see opportunities that you don't see because you live there. So, I mean, it's the same thing every single day. But an outsider looking in is going to have a different idea and perspective. Wow, this could do that, could do that, I could do that. Okay. So that's the way it is, isn't it? Sure. Give Give advice to people out there. There's a female, a woman, a man, anyone trying to move back. They've been contemplating. They don't know because the stereotypical of Africa is yeah. huge. They don't know what to do. You've been here. You've experienced it. Yeah. Advice the people. Three best advice. So for sure, I would say visit. You know, get your stuff together, get your visa, and come and visit. First. So that would be number one. Mm -hmm. um, number two, I would say um, look into some business ideas while you're here. Um, networking out here is really great. Yeah. So connect with people, find out what people are working on, see if you can, you know, be a um, have an asset or assistance to people who are, you know, doing things. Um, and if you are planning to move here, just do your research. So find out how much accommodations are. Find out how much water, electricity, right? Because here you got to pay your rent in six months advance, right? Six months right? advance, yes. So if you're going to pay six months advance, you got to save up a lot of money. Yes. You want to make sure you're in a financial position where... You know, your your monthly expenses are mapped out. Yeah. Wow. Now, I hope you are taking notes because it would come in handy. She followed the same steps we did your visibility exactly. check. Exactly. Made her research, final cost of living, and just moved here. And she's living comfortably, I would say. Yes. Here in Ghana. And so, Ghana is not, you know, a jungle like most people think. You know, the drone footages you are seeing on the screen shows you what Ghana truly is. You know, not like what CNN and BBC say. Exactly. So, you know, I'm glad you took the initiative. You know, being a woman and you coming to the continent without knowing anybody and doing these great things here, I must say, congratulations. Thank you. Now, I want, I hope it, people would be commenting. It's not all juicy. It's not all roses, like you're saying. So, tell me one of the biggest challenges you faced so far while trying to, you know, get the business to. Trans transition to Ghana. Maybe less two, two. Well, you know, two biggest um, challenges you face so far. I think that, um, unfortunately, the truth is sometimes, you know, working with Ghanaians is a little bit slow. Yeah. It's a little bit slow. Laid back. A little bit laid back. Mm -hmm. A little bit of hand holding. Yeah. You have to be there for everything, or it won't be done no. the way you expected it to be exactly. done. So that is a challenge that you have to like stay on top of every single thing, literally. Yeah. Anything simple, you have to actually, you might think it's like, oh, it's, it's obvious simple, yeah. you do this. It's so obvious. It's not obvious. It's obvious to you. Yeah. But it's not obvious yes, to the yeah. people who are You mean I face that. Yeah. I go through that. I've, I'm a Ghanaian. Yeah. Okay. I've lived here all of my life. I just moved, you know, to the travel around for eight years and never yeah. came back. But when I'm here, I... I like so it is, it is frustrating yeah. sometimes. So that would be the only thing. Though. Only then? Yeah, for the most part. One I mean, more. on the roads, but I mean, that's... Yes. Oh, yes. That's, the any, roads. that's anywhere, though. Yeah, that's, the roads, is, it's everywhere. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. In my so it's not, it's not a big issue. We are, yeah. we are working on it. Exactly, okay. <laughs> exactly. But it's typical for tropical-like places, yeah. right? Sometimes, mostly the roads are all yeah. perfect. Yeah, sure. So that's not a big deal. So you can still move back anyways. Come invest in Ghana, visit Ghana, explore Ghana. Now, let me ask you one thing. I don't know if it's too personal, but I've not asked you about relationships. I don't I don't know. You told me you have two kids, but yes, I don't know your relationship. I was married. I had okay. two kids. My daughter is 13. My son is um, 10. Okay. So, yeah. you're still married, right? No. No. Oh, so she, you're single. Exactly. Guys, did you try dating in Ghana yet? What's that? Dating. Uh, not really. Not really. What do you think about Ghanaian men, though? Because I had, very a, weird. 
Yeah, I had an interview with an American, yeah. and she was telling me Ghanaian men are weird. And I asked why, and she said, they met today, yeah. two weeks later, he took her to see her, her mom. Yeah. And then her mom started asking, when are you getting married? Oh, wow, <laughs> wow, wow, wow. So is it the same girl that you're talking about? Not necessarily that, but you know, I think the culture is different. Okay. So men think differently here in Ghana. Move fast? Um, not, not even a moving fast, but I think once men have money here, they have like too many yeah. options. What else? When a man has money, they've got girls oh. throwing themselves at them because yeah. they have a little bit of money. Yeah. So they don't see the need to necessarily settle down yeah. or yeah. be with one woman, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what I mean. If, you have, if you're a successful man, you just take it for granted that, you know. Yeah. yeah so, so you've not had any luck or you don't want to look for it? No, I'm not interested. Okay. <laughs> I thought she was saying I was trying my best for you guys, but unfortunately she's taking it. Just to add to the video, I want you to rate Ghanaian men on a scale of 1 to 10 and also tell me your preference, Ghanaian men or Canadian men? Okay, so on a rating of 1 to 10, mm. I would rate Ghana men around 4. I know, what? like the guys that four? I would talk to, as I said, they're successful. Oh, please don't. Alright, but I'm sure there are faithful men, you know what I mean? Like but myself? I'm saying, as soon as, you are, as soon as you're average successful. How successful? I don't know. Successful can be very really Just comfortable. Like if you have a car. Okay. Right? Okay. That's 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 not successful. No, but if you have money if you're in Ghana and oh, you have yeah, money yeah. for a car, yeah, 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 that true, means you're true. actually good. It's true. If you have money for a car yeah. and to put fuel in the car, yeah. you're actually okay. you're actually pretty okay. So men men who just have that tend to not be faithful. Well, yeah, they got options because women don't earn a lot of money here. So oh. women are willing to give whatever they gotta give for a little bit of security. But it's true though, like you know. Yeah, it's true. So I think that's the whole culture thing. Because yeah. They they prefer the. the I don't know. I, I I might not get in trouble. I don't know, but they grow. They groom them to right. just you know what I'm saying. So be a wife and just have right. children, which yeah. is a very important role. Right. Don't get me wrong. Right. Society, so because of that, you're like Oops. they're looking for someone to support them, right, yeah. and you know what I mean. As long as someone can support them, they're well, they're okay with that. So you've not even met one guy who is just like an odd since you've been here. Ah, uh, no, not, no, no. That's crazy, guys. Ghanaian men, you are losing. You are losing. What are you doing, man? <laughs> so Ghanaian men or Canadian men? Oh, Canadian. Probably a Canadian. But I would still like the background to be somewhat African. cultured, African, you know, Caribbean. Caribbean. Yeah. I like so that. I like the mixture of both. I yeah. Like that. I like it. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. I asked her about it. You didn't. Don't tell me I didn't ask. I asked her, and she told me what she liked. So if you know you fall in those categories, the socials will be on the screen. Just. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to me. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you. And you are doing great on the continent. And uh, yeah. Tell the viewers a little bit about your business. How oh, yeah. to find you your socials. So it's Crazy Burger. You can find it on Instagram. So we are located in East Lagoon. If you actually Google Maps, Crazy Burger, you'll find it, right? Um, we do have a delivery as, of course, pickup. Pickup. So yeah. um, delivery service is actually provided by a new um, delivery um, company. company. Okay. So it's called Thirty Minutes. So the idea is they'll deliver your food in thirty minutes or less. Or I think the delivery is free. Wow. Something like that. Wow. So they'll go 30 minutes away from the location to get you your food. So we're working with them. So that's pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it's nice because they're a black-owned company. Like oh, wow. it's an African company, right? So you have Bolt Foods. You have Uber Eats. Mm. So there's something similar to that. By you know our oh, own. African owned. It's African owned. So we're trying to definitely work with them. Support our own. Support our own. We could have went with Bolt, we could have went with right. Uber, Jumia, whatever. I mean, Jumia is African owned, but you know, we're giving someone else the opportunity. That's nice. So, yeah. so let's support the brand, let's support Africa. Shop Africa, use Africa. And yeah, I think it's a good initiative. So I would leave her socials on the screen and uh, contact her if you want to, you know, buy, deliver it, they will deliver it to your doorstep. Now, I'm going to try the burgers and let you guys know on screen because I've tried already and I might tell you it's amazing. But I'm going to do it the second time on screen and really show you my honest reaction. So stay tuned.
Crazy burgers. Hey. Now this is the moment of truth. Actually, I have tried it before, but I want to try it on camera one more time so that they know how it tastes. I like. think he just wants to eat it again. It's amazing. Right? It's amazing. So I'll just a bite, okay? That cheese. See. I swear my life, this shit is crazy. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they call it Crazy Burger crazy because burger. it's be crazy good. They're doing great. I mean, I swear. I can't even thank lie. you. I was going to say, I know. This December, or even before that, if you come to Ghana, you're hungry, you want somewhere to really know, eat some nice burgers. Yep. Don't look this elsewhere. You come to Crazy Burger. This is where it's at. It's really nice. It's, I swear. Really nice. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And if it's your first time here, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. She's also a content creator. I'll leave her YouTube name in the link in the de link in the description below. <laughs> you can't even talk right. The food is so it's good. It's amazing, you know what I'm saying. So, subscribe to her YouTube channel. And yeah, stay tuned for more amazing content coming your way. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye. Peace out.